What's up guys, so Vil here with another action figure review. Today, I'm going to talk about the WWE Elite Series 56, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Since they've both been tag team partners for quite some time now, performing in multiple countries throughout the world, I figured it was best to keep their reviews together. Recently, they've been referred to as the Good Brothers, and have even rejoined Finn Balor in what is now called the Battle Club. The three of them, as well as AJ Styles, are all former members of the Bullet Club, which tends to get referenced in current WWE storylines any time it is relevant to the situation. With all of that said, let's get them out of their boxes. So far, they both look great with their entrance gear and an artwork diorama for each of them. And as Gallo spins around here, you can see that his trench coat is impressively accurate, with full sculpting and paint details all the way around. Seeing over to Anderson, his gear switches back to being a cloth shirt with only the logo printed on the front, and the Velcro strip down the back to remove the shirt. And now, with them side by side, you can really see one of the things that I really like about the WWE Elite line in that they always try to keep the characters in scale with each other. Luke Gallows is marked at 6'8", while Carl Anderson is 6'1". So I really think that Mattel has done a nice job showing that difference. With that said, let's take a closer look at them. I definitely think they captured his likeness really well in the hood sculpt, but there are a couple of flaws in the paint, such as the white mark under his eye and the beard not being quite painted correctly, as it doesn't totally match up on either side. His trench coat, however, does look really cool, and I can't seem to find any errors on it from either side. The logo and splatter pattern on the back are both really awesome. And under the trench coat, the splatter pattern does continue all throughout the white of his tights. And the logo on his torso looks just as awesome as the one on the coat. Another thing I've always liked about the Elite line is how well they do the tattoos. I honestly can't tell you what all he has on his arms. But everything you can see here looks really awesome, as does this arm as well, carrying through on both sides. For a little bit of trivia knowledge, the blacked out spot here in his tattoos used to be a Superman logo, but he was told by WWE to get it covered for copyright reasons. However, I'm not really sure why they allow past guys like CM Punk or current guys like Braun Strowman to keep their copyrighted symbols, but made Gallows cover his. Here, I'm going to take a quick look down the pants so that you can see all the logos there as well. There's also a slight hint of that same splatter pattern from earlier. And now, let's get into the articulation. His head can move up and down as well as side to side. His shoulders can rotate all the way around as well as outward. The biceps have full rotation and the elbows can fold to about 90 degrees. Plus, the wrists can rotate as well as move up and down. His torso can fold forward a little bit and rotate at the waist. His leg can kick just about straight forward, but not as well outward. Of course, he does still have rotation at the thigh, and the double knee joint closes really well. Overall, I think this figure is a great representation of Luke Gallows. So now, it's time to move on to Carl Anderson. To be honest, I was a little surprised that they went back to the cloth shirts with him. Not that it looks bad or anything, I just wish there was a little more consistency because it does look a little strange to have half my collection with plastic shirts and half with cloth shirts, especially since it seems somewhat random as to who gets which. I do think that the sculpted clothes look better, but the cloth ones are easier to take on and off. With all that said, let's get a closer look at him. I think the head sculpt for Anderson captures his lightness really well, and the paint for his beard lines up a little bit better. For most of his torso, the pieces are fairly generic, with the exception being his right arm with all the tattoos on it. Much like with Gallows, they all appear to be pretty accurate and colored really well. His legs also seem like a fairly generic sculpt, but they are painted really well with all the right logos and symbols, some of which are even in the knee joint. Articulation-wise, it's all pretty much exactly like Anderson was, but the hip joints can move out a little wider, and he does have calf rotation at the top of the boot. Overall, I think this figure has done pretty well and is a worthy addition to the collection, especially when paired with his partner, Luke Gallows. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.